Good morning, it's Bev at Planet Crochet. I'd just like to show you how to change colours. Go to, your, go to do your last double crochet. This is UK terminology, by the way. Yarn over, pull it through. Now, to finish, as you've done before, you would yarn over and pull it through. You need to stop, drop the tail of the green, pick up your blue, over your hook and pull through and you've changed your colour. Now leave a bit of a tail, about four to six inches, and then as you've done before, chain one and that's it, you've done. You've changed your colour. Turn your work and double crochet back all the way and you want ten rows. You will finish tails if you've done the right amount of rows will finish all on one side I did sew the green top on first but I leave so it's like a 3d thing as well it's not just all the cloud I didn't I did the cloud I, I sewn that down all the way so it is down but the tree bit I just left like the leaves principle up apart from this bit and that was to cover the surface crocheting because I started here went up across and down I was going to go up stop and then reattach and go back down I thought why 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 do that so I went up a couple or three stitches down because I can't remember now I've covered it up and then back down and stop you don't have to do a little kink at the bottom like that but that's how I used to draw draw trees so how you do that is take the brown from the kit you can either do a slip knot or just pull it through so find a place on the green so remember this first tail on the left hand side so you know you've got the, the right side facing you so about here maybe just pull it through so you need to leave a bit of a tail not too long because you won't have enough yarn to go up and down. So that's like your first chain and then find another hole and gently pull your yarn through. So there's your first one. Don't worry about this first for a while. You can sew that in later. And then same again. Put your hook in. Now there shouldn't be any resistance putting your hook through these holes. There aren't holes, but can you see how the work looks? And these these automatic like dips if you like. So I suppose that you could class those as holes and you can just make the tree trunk look as you want to look. And you can make like grass pictures and branches it's really good and versatile doing things like this but don't do it too tight because if you do it tight it's going to pull your work and you want it nice and loose not too loose but you want it flat so yeah right to sew your tails in thread your needle and that's the tip. Put your needle on your yarn tail, fold it over, pinch it. Because sometimes it can take a while doing that. But I watched a lady years ago on YouTube and she said this is how she did it. And I generally do that now. So this is your backside of the work. So there's the beginning tail, now it's on the right, so we know this is the back of the work. And also you will have done, before you do your tails, sew your details on and then you're not going to have a mistake, for definite. I, Because it's blue obviously, I'm going to go in the blue. So just pick up lightly, don't pull too tight as well because you don't want to pucker up your work. And then you see these lines, the stitches at the back. You just pick up gently 
and just go a little ways and if you do enjoy doing this kit you can always go out and buy yourself if you can i am this is not promoted by the way i love stylecraft special uh double knit i love their yarn all the thickness of, of the yarn you can't fault it but buy double knit because that's what this is um and you can do the pattern again for yourself and then you're not going to be worried about how much yarn um you don't have so i finished there and what you want to do is go back so obviously don't go there because you're going to pull it back out go over the first notch and then go back where you've just been gently picking up Gently pull through. Now it's going to catch because I left one little strand so it will catch on it. Don't pull too tight again. You learn these things over the years because if you pull it too tight, you're going to form a hole here. And if you're new, you're going to get flustered because you may not be able to find it and pull it back to adjust it. And then at this point, because this is going to be inside a cushion, I just snip it off and do the same with your green. So to finish off your blue, all you do is yarn over, pull through and pull all the way through and then tighten. Never cut off your yarn short. Always give yourself at least six to eight inches for sewing in purposes that's on normal projects but for things like this you're going to need a longer tail because you want to go across the top down the side to here to this last one here and then go on the inside of your cushion and do it like you've done before you've sewn in your tails on your front <clears throat> you know when you just catch your little stitches at the back do that with the blue so you've gone across the top You've gone down. This is going through both pieces, going backwards and forwards. I'll put a photo on the pattern, you'll see. And then you go inside. This is how I did it. Go on the inside, catch your stitches. And then pop it through the back. In there. And then do the same as you've done on the right hand side. Sorry about that. Right, so that's the blue done. And because you've left the green at the back on the back piece you know the rest of it thread your needle and do exactly the same you've done down the side across the bottom back up the other side stop here first put your stuffing in go up a little ways maybe halfway put the rest of it in if you haven't already done so and then do the sewing backwards and forwards and when you're finished just like with the blue plug it inside but then try and you're going to have to obviously because it's fastened up you're going to have to that's why if you if you do your sewing bits at the back on the back piece not your front then you're not if you do come through it doesn't alter the work um and then just catch it where's the needle yeah, when you're finished, which side would you? So you'll have come through this side. So say you're finished. Oh no, sorry, it's the other way around because I'm getting my piece mixed up. So you go down, cross and up. So you're finished, you can come through this hole and then go back through there if you wish. And just go through the stitches like that and because it's green not blue you're not going to see it unless you do come deliberately out onto the outside but, but if you just take your time and do it at least once and bring it up somewhere bring it out and then what I do is catch a stitch so say if you came out there 
catch that one and then poke it back through. You can poke, poke it through the stuffing and bring it out the side or somewhere so you've got a long tail inside. And do that as much as you can until most of the yarn's used, if you like. And then you know it's not going to come undone. It's generally not. If you've pulled it tight enough, it's not going to come undone. Um, and that's what I've done with that. So I've just caught underneath somewhere in here and then poke through, poke through. So I hope you like doing this kit as much as I've done. How I enjoy it. I've loved creating this kit. I really have. Um, I started with the flower ones. Um, the, all the patterns will be available when I get to write them out. I'm just doing this countryside one first. And then I'll do the others. I've written them down, I've just got to transfer them to the computer and then um, put them in kit form. Anyway, that's enough from me today. It's Bev at Planet Crochet. I hope you've had a nice day. It's been sunny here in Yorkshire. Um, I hope this is very um, understandable uh, and easy to follow. If you have any questions, please leave it below in the comment section or get back to me on Instagram, Planet Crochet, and um, or even on Etsy because that's where I'll be selling them and then I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So again, from me, Bev at Planet Crochet, bye for now.